welcome back to our channel. Today we're taking a look at Catchy OS, the latest release of this Arch Linux based distribution, the June 2024 release. Whether you're a seasoned Linux user or just getting started, there's something here for everyone. So let's break it down. First off, let's talk about what's new. The CatchOS team has been hard at work to bring some exciting updates and support for new hardware. This release isn't just about tweaks and fixes. It includes substantial enhancements that can change how you use CatchOS. One of the standout features in this release is the new support for T2 MacBooks. If you own a MacBook with Apple T2 chip and have been itching to run an Arch Linux based distribution on it, you need luck. With the June 2024 release, you can now install CatchOS on these devices. However, there's a catch. Right out of the box, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth won't work. But don't worry, the CatchOS team has provided detailed instructions on how to patch the system to get these features up and running. This is a great step for those who want to combine the sleek hardware of a MacBook with the flexibility and power of Linux. Next up, we have something for the gamers and portable devices enthusiasts the new Catchy OS Handheld Edition. This is the first stable release specifically designed for portable devices like the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go and Asus Rogue Ally. The developers have made numerous adjustments to ensure that the system works smoothly on these devices. One of the key features here is the enhanced hardware detection. Catch OS now includes advanced detection for these handheld devices and automatically configures the system based on the specific devices you're using. Although it should also support INEO devices, the developers have yet to conduct thorough tests on this. If you love gaming on the go or just enjoy using portable devices, this edition is definitely worth checking out. For those using NVIDIA GPUs, the June 2024 release brings some significant updates. This version includes the better release of NVIDIA 555 graphics driver series. This new driver comes with explicit GPU sync support and several other enhancements aimed at improving performance and compatibility. In addition to the new driver, the release also includes patched compositors that support explicit sync, as well as improved functionality on Wayland. This means some more stable and reliable experience for NVIDIA users, particularly those using Wayland. One of the more user-friendly additions is the new catchy CRUD script. The script is designed to guide users through the CRUD process, making it easier to correctly mount partition and detect ButterFS sub-volumes. For those who may not be familiar, CRUD is a crucial process in Linux that allows you to set up a separate root file system. This new script simplifies what can be a complex process, making it more accessible to users of all levels. Another cool feature is the ability to copy the catchy OS ISO to your computer's RAM provided you have enough space. This can significantly improve the boot experience, making it faster and more efficient. If you're someone who frequently boosts from live USB or CDs, this feature will save you a lot of time. The developers have also made some changes to the default settings that come with a fresh installation of CatchOS. One of the major changes is the switch from XFS to ButterFS as the default file system. BTRFS is known for its advanced features like snapshotting and better data integrity, making it a great choice for most users. In terms of security, the default firewall has been changed from Firewall LD to UFW. UFW, short for Uncomplicated Firewall, is known for being easier to use, especially for those who may not be as comfortable with firewall configurations. As with any new release, various components of the system have been updated to their latest versions. This ensures that users get the best performance, security and latest features available. Let's not forget the desktop environment and the kernel. The desktop edition of CatchOS now comes with the latest KDE Plasma 6.0.5. KDE Plasma is known for its sleek design, customization options and overall performance. Coupled with the new Linux 6.9 kernel, users can expect a robust and efficient desktop experience. So there you have it, the June 2024 release of CatchOS brings a host of new features and improvements from T2 MacBook support to a new handheld edition. 
NVIDIA enhancements and user-friendly tools. Whether you're looking to run Linux on a MacBook, game on a portable device, or just enjoy a more efficient and secure desktop environment, this release has something for you. To get your hands on the latest version of CatchOS, head over to their official website and download the desktop or handheld edition. That's it for this one, and as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.